Tian. Thank Hi, you Bani. so much for joining in. And how are you doing? I'm yeah, doing good, doing good. Like I think actually today I did work a bit as well on my job. So, you know, uh, at least at night I get to have some time off. So uh, which is good. Sure. So new job, new responsibilities, new yes, time. Yes, that's right. So for the benefit of our audience, uh, mm -hmm. hello friends. Uh, welcome to this particular series of success stories. And uh, with us today, we have Yi Qian. And Yi Qian has extensive experience. He started off working with uh, different companies. And there is one thing in common between us that we both work with Deloitte. The difference being our friend Yi Qian has worked as a junior remediation analyst with Deloitte. And I've uh, Deloitte Australia is what he has worked with. And I've worked with Deloitte USI, US India, that is what they call it as. And post that our friend has done his full stack data scientist training. Now we slightly rebranded that program as postgraduate diploma program. And uh, that was a one year program in data science. And post that, our friend is now working with uh, Kuman, K E W M A N N, uh, which is actually, I believe, headquartered in Singapore. But uh, they also have their presence in different companies, uh, sorry, different countries, including Malaysia. And our friend Yishian is working with Kuman in Malaysia. Right? So, Mr. Uh, Yichian, my first question to you is, how was your journey, uh, you know, learning many things and it was certainly wealth of learning, I should say that, and it would have been very taxing as well. But <clears throat> the good part is you have successfully completed this journey and now you have nailed it. You have got into this profession of data science. So can you please, uh, talk more about this journey so that it motivates our audience. Uh, sure. Uh, hi, uh, everyone. So uh, where do I start? So actually, it started way back in 2018. So during 2018 was the year I actually got first uh, exposure into uh, what data science is all about, uh, mostly through YouTube, actually. And then, but during that time, I was more like uh, just knowing a bit of what data science is about, but I didn't really deep dive into it until around 2020. So 2020 at that time, I remember I was supposed to actually go back to work in Australia at that time. But uh, I remember my flight back to Sydney was like three days after Malaysia announced the lockdown. So it was a uh, quite unfortunate timing that you know I was supposed to you know be in Malaysia at that time. And then of course, naturally the job that I was in with Deloitte at the time. So uh, at the time I kind of have no choice but to resign from it. So during that time I spent, uh, I think almost more than half a year actually trying to like figure out what it is I wanted to do going forward. I tried many different ventures and I ended up deciding to go with uh, data science like full time uh, in 2021. 2021 was the year where I actually made the decision to seriously invest myself in data science. So I remember I did a couple of courses uh, with Udemy for a bit. And then uh, before I actually come to 360 DigitMG, there is this one particular YouTube video where um, this YouTuber, he talked about you know, how freshers can actually get into the field of uh, data science, even without working experience. And the key point he mentioned was live projects. So that was like, that kind of struck my mind. It's like, oh, so that is how I can potentially make a transition into the field of uh, data science. And then the next question comes is, I do need some guidance on how I can get myself involved in live projects and how it works. So you know that's why I found 360 uh, DGTMG at that time. And then I remember that one program I saw, which was uh, full stack data science, and which is now that you say it's rebranded to, um, what is it, is it a diploma? Is it postgraduate diploma of data science? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, then that's why when I look at the course at the time, it was like 
I saw there's a couple of topics that I did cover a bit before, but there's a lot more new topics like uh, what cloud computing, big data, uh, ML ops, data engineering also. So, you know, given that I'm someone who's uh, really, really like to dive into many different things at once. So I was like, yeah, this full stack data science is like, it's like my calling is telling me that I should really take up uh, this course. So I uh, remember I joined the full stack data science program in June. June of 2021. So it started off quite slow as in like I mostly uh, just cover some of the basic stuff before I actually get into what machine learning and deep learning is all about. I think that was the most interesting part that I found throughout this uh, program. And then later on at the back, I remember I did a lot of self-studying. Is it self-study? No, I mean like the videos are lecture videos that are mostly recorded. So it's like uh, data engineering and ML ops and all that. But you know, I was fortunate enough that I get quite a lot of uh, support from the, uh, the tutors around at 360 DGTMG, and I'm really grateful for their support because I think you know without them, I don't think I'll be able to navigate my way through uh, this um, career path that I was aiming for for data scientist role. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So Yichian is in short saying that life projects is extremely important. You need to work on those. And he has actually did, uh, did that. He actually did that as part of his training. And um, thank you so much. I, I was also, you know, understanding from our folks that, you know, Yichian is very active. He's reaching out to us to understand, uh, you know, many things about the placement and the other assistance. And yep, your enthusiasm also has e equally contributed towards your success action, if I were to put it that way. So Yichian, without uh, consuming a lot of your time, I, I know it's late out there in Malaysia. Uh, so if you were to give a single most important suggestion to all of our students who are getting trained on what does it actually take to get into this field of data science after getting trained, what would that be? What would your one single most important suggestion be for people to venture into this field of data science? Hmm. I think, you know, I kind of wish that I got that advice myself way back then before I actually started venturing into what data science is about. Because, you know, usually I thought that, you know, in whatever new career path that you want to venture into, you must, like, you should have some sort of work experience first. But then the question is how you can get work experience when you actually don't have work experience to begin with. So uh, I think for data science field, I think it's quite interesting that because you can actually sort of kind of find your way to get into the field of data science. And that is uh, without even having work experience. And that is again, through live projects. So uh, my most important advice is actually to, um, you know, advise us. Uh, listeners out there is if you are planning to venture into the field of uh, data science, um, be prepared to invest yourself in working on live projects and also not just working on those projects, but also um, polish it up in terms of how you present it. Um, there are many different channels you can present your projects, it, whether is it through a blog, blog post or is it through LinkedIn or through GitHub as well, which is what I mostly did. So, you know, after I trained with 360 DGTMG, as in after I completed the last live project that I did, I actually spent a couple of months mostly preparing my GitHub profile, actually. So I kind of invested myself in that for a couple of months, uh, looking back at all the live projects that I did with 360 DGTMG, then try, trying to pick the ones that are most relevant for me and actually put it in my GitHub profile. And not only that, I also uh, actually create added a link to my uh, resume so that you know when uh, when you call it when recruiters looked at my resume they can actually just click on the link and then it actually goes direct to my github profile and then i also put my github uh, projects on linkedin as well so that you know recruiters can also directly go to github so and fortunately, fortunately enough like for this company that i got into with cumin um the recruiter who was actually the director of the company himself, because I remember he interviewed me during the first round and we spent more than half an hour talking about the live projects that I've done with uh, 360 DGTMG. 
like he really deep dive into the stuff that I did with uh, GitHub quite end to end. So I uh, was fortunate enough that I'm able to answer most of the questions, but maybe some small little details I might have uh, kind of forgotten a bit. But then overall, it was um, it really helped me out a lot because I think without the live projects, I don't think I'll be able to even get into the first interview, you know, with uh, most uh, most of the opportunities that are available. So yeah, live projects. That's like the one key takeaway. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ishan. So yeah. our friend is very, very clearly emphasizing on the need to work on the real world projects, not just work on the real world projects, but build your profile, build your LinkedIn, build your GitHub, build your resume, put that on your job portals and let the world come to know that you have invested your time, you know, learning yeah. all these concepts to get into this field of data science. You worked on real world projects that in itself is a proof that you are ultra serious about your career. So that is the one single most important suggestion which our friend has uh, given away to you guys. So yeah. listeners, all the very best for your career. And thank, thank you much. so much, Ishian, and all the best for your future. I'm pretty sure you're going to rock, you know, the show. <laughs> fingers crossed on that. Fingers crossed on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank so, you much. so much and all the thanks, best thanks varani all the best to you too all right thank you